All right, our next speaker will be Mr. Michael Hunt. Thank you. Mr. Garcetti. Madam President. Mr. Garcetti. Uh, in our last meeting, wearing that hood had a disruptive effect on, on a number of the folks that were in the audience, and I would like to establish that as precedent. I would like to ask Mr. Hunt to remove that as a precautionary measure. As we have said before, you can sit. Mr. Hunt, I'll have to ask you to remove your hood. The presence of a hood is a disruptive Thank you. force. And City and Attorney. For the record, there were cries coming from the crowd yelling for him to take off the hood also. You mean the ski mask? No. The hood? He, he, could, keep, he could keep the mask. Um, we don't need to see his face. How many of you got All right, you, uh, Mr. Mr. Hunt, your behavior today has been disruptive, so proceed. But if it becomes disruptive again, I'll have to ask you to depart. Please proceed. Oh, okay. Can, can I ask one question, please? No. Please proceed. Okay. Um, I don't know how my uh, mask or whatever is disruptive, but anyways, the financial report and the budget committee. Here's the thing about this, and here's why everybody's pissed off about the furloughs and what's really going on. Because the city council has squandered all the money, and they forgot to. They forgot about these people right here. They squandered the and fifty million dollars. That's why they have to go on furlough because the city council they they capriciously abused the discretion and gave away all the money to the developers downtown. Forgot about these people right here. That's why you guys are in trouble today. This is why these people are down here, because you guys protected the greedy and not the It's a line item to hire to attrition, and we'll continue on that. Although on the other end, we do have that $129 million budget deficit to deal with. Okay, I'm going to make it very clear. Uh, I want to hire to attrition, but I don't want to furlough a single cop, because here is an officer fully trained. You don't want to put him out for a day. You got to find another way. You got to look at the bonuses. You got to look at civilian doing civilian jobs, not cops doing civilian jobs. You have to look at the LAX mix. And if I could, Madam President, just a point of privilege, if I could ask the union guy who wanted to make a comment, just to make one quick comment. <laughs> uh, a bit. Go to the lectern. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please stop. Council. 
is having the dialogue that it is on the budget. Please proceed. the meeting. Close the roll. Tabulate the vote. The meeting is now officially in recess. Here, we have responsibility to hear individual speakers. The viewers who are there on channel 35 and watch us on the internet who can call in need to hear what the individual ideas are as well. And that's what we are... Sir, if you're gonna, if you're, we will start kicking people out if you shout out because you will be drowning out even the voices of your own members. So please, have that and that's coming next. Okay? Mr. Rosendahl. Was he done? Were you done, Mr. Rosendahl? I wasn't done, but uh, I appreciate the democracy at its best. I appreciate your anger and, and your concerns about the issue. What I was trying to discuss is the police hiring issue, which is a significant issue be it good, bad, or the indifferent. Uh, but it is a very serious issue that the city has to face. And we have to make decisions on that. Let Mr. Repovich make his comment, if we could do that. He needs to go to the lectern to do that. Yeah, I mean, and just let him finish his words. That's all you have to let him do, so he has a, to go on the record about that issue. Then we're looking forward. Peter, come on up. Let's go. Hey, it'd be one second. That's all it's going to be. Then, then you get a chance, okay? Go for it. Please. Okay. Go ahead, Peter. Look, I, I apologize very much for what just went on here, but very important. Our, our police officers every day hear furloughs and pay cuts. They've heard that forever. We've been at the table since January. We're still talking about whether we should stop hiring a police. Our message has been very clear. You need to stop hiring. We cannot go to our membership and ask them to take a pay cut or to take anything from our membership, furloughs, whatever it may be, and continue to the hire. The initiative came to Skid Row in September 2006. It's resulted in the highest sustained concentration of police officers anywhere in the world besides Baghdad. That's right, Baghdad. This is an absolute shame, Los Angeles. The, the citizens of Skid Row, your own constituents in your own districts, suffer every day and night at the hands of policies that the rest of you have no backbone to speak out against. Do you need more motivation? Let's look at this in the context of the rest of Los Angeles. Adding just the 50 officers of SCI to the .85 square miles in Skid Row is the equivalent of adding 470 officers to the Rampart area, 700 officers to 77th Street, and 1,700 to Van Nuys. You want to know where to solve your police budget issues? Redeploy them out of Skid Row and put them in the rest of the city. <laughs> Adding just the 50 officers of SCI to the .85 square miles in Skid Row is the equivalent of adding 470 officers to the Rampart area, 700 officers to 77th Street, and 1,700 to Van Nuys. You want to know where to solve your police budget issues? Redeploy them out of Skid Row and put them in the rest of the city. The Safer Cities Initiative launched in 2006 as an embarrassment, both nationally and globally. You, council members, you so-called liberals and progressives, sit passively by as the police perpetrate genocide in downtown Skid Row. This is your policy, and this is your fault. Your acquiescence to the mayor and the police chief is paramount to collusion and guilt. This legislative criminality repeatedly violates civil and human rights. Three years is too long. 27,000 arrests is too many, and 36,000 citations are harassment. 